is DC Anime Review. This is Christina speaking, and we're going to be discussing Season 1, Episode 2 of To Your Eternity. And joining me is uh, Ponja and Doreen. Hello, Hello. audience. Hello again. What? <laughs> <laughs> so what an episode this was. Uh, okay, so Orb has uh, graduated from Rock to Wolf. Now to boy. Six times. But boy, yes, but boy keeps dying. Six yes, times. That was the strangest thing about that. That he dies, and then it takes him like five days to regenerate, and then and it's like, and then this time now he's improving a lot better. That in one day it's like twelve hours that he gets to come back to be. Yeah, so he, the a orb boy. is basically mastering its regeneration. I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Which is very interesting how, like, because he doesn't understand yet about, like, for him to, because since he's in the in the boy's, he became a boy, he doesn't understand that in order to survive as human, you gotta eat. Yeah, and he didn't know water. that. He probably, he probably, yeah, he probably died of starvation. That's what it is, and he kept dying every time. That's what and I he think kept starving too. himself. Yeah, so that's what I think. But the last one he died, he it was out, out of expected, like this big polar bear or something. Just grabbed, ate him. It, just yeah, ate him. basically ate it's him. Yeah. dinner. Yeah. Yeah, and so. then we're introduced to this little village out mm-hmm. in the middle of nowhere with this adorable little child mm-hmm. named March. And she's playing with her toys, wanting to be a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and pretending like she's the mommy. Yes, which was so adorable. She's so cute. She better not die. I'm saying that I know. right now. I hope not either. She's just super adorable. And like you see uh, this girl named Marsha, she wants to grow up and everything. And then she has like, I think she's like a big sister to her. This girl named, um, I'm trying to say her name again, Kami Nyato or something like that. I'm I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I gotta go back and look at her name again because you know this is brand new to us. So, but she seemed like a big sister to her, like that. I really think she is. Care her about big, her. I think she is her big sister. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think that's her sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I thought she was just being like kind of like the adopted sister because she has other siblings. But I, you know, I noticed that. Like, at first, we hadn't heard the older sister say, oh, mom and dad. It was more like Marsh came to her. That's came true. To the parents. That's true. But yeah. I think that is her I think that is her older sister. Okay. Alrighty. So, hmm. But that's what I was kind of a little confused at, at the beginning. I wasn't sure yet. And then when she says sissy, then I'm like, okay, that has yeah, to that, be her that's, sister. Yeah, that's her sister, yeah. That's true. That's true. You're right about that. She did mention the word sissy. Um, to her, so that's like her little short abbreviation of sister. Sister, yeah. So it gotta be that. Gotta be true. Okay. Alrighty. But it seems like every single episode, like hopefully that's not gonna be a. I feel like it's gonna be continuation each episode that something happens to each of the characters. Mm-hmm. So like the first episode was with, with the, boy. the boy. Yeah. And uh, now and this it's probably gonna be with the little girl. I mean, this is made by the same creator as A Silent Voice, so. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't put it for put sure. it past this person for like you know making everybody cry. Yeah, I, I know. And sorry, go ahead. No, because I feel that coming. I feel like that's what where this show is headed. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like it. Hopefully, it turns out good at the end. But mm. I feel like every person that we're gonna we're gonna meet along the way, we might form like an attachment to them maybe yeah and then, and then like, we, after we do that they're gonna die because that's what happens yeah, yeah. That and that's what what's happens. messed up <laughs> that's what's gonna be messed up because we're gonna start to love these characters so much and then when they die or they get sacrificed or something like that or or far worse than that and like we're gonna be really traumatized about that like really upset about that because you start and I think they do that purposely I think the creator is going to purposely make us, like, fall in love with these characters and then feel sympathy for these characters. We're going to feel sorry for these characters. I feel, I feel, I feel like watching, you know, because we've been watching anime for a long time, we would get used to that. No. <laughs> no. 
No, no, it's just it's you, you're still touched by these characters, no matter what anime is. When you like a character and then something happens to these character, you're like so devastated. You're like, why? Out of all these characters, why does that have to happen to them? Why do they have to suffer? Why are they getting hurt? Or what? And I'm like, I hope this little girl does not become a human sacrifice. I really hope this doesn't I, leave. I feel case. like I'm going to need my tissue box next episode. I, f- I feel like, like I... that too, because like, uh, what's the Crunchyroll original show? Uh, Onyx Equinox. Like in the first episode, we have a sacrifice. And then it's like, in this episode, we have a sacrifice. And I'm like, well, you, you can't stop sacrificing people. Dang it. Exactly. <laughs> stop it. Especially Enough children. Especially the kids, like, um, like it's sad. Like it's like that. In order for to make like peace with their god in the series, um, they ha- like I think he's like a volcano god or some mountain god. That in order to have peace on their land, they have to do a sacrifice. And well, that's that's how they- it is with any you know tribal you know yeah. community. Yeah, something has to be sacrificed. Mm-hmm. And usually that is like that in history. It's like in history about the back then with human sacrifice or tradition that in order for their crops to grow, in order for them to get rain or peace on their land, they would use human sacrifice. And the sad part is that it was even children get sacrificed for it. Yeah. It's not, it wasn't just adult. It was just, and it's just kind of sad. Like, but that it, I know that was part of history, but it is very sad that they, you know, back then they they do believe that, that in order for them to have peace on the, if for them to sacrifice their, even their own children, which is the most saddest thing. Like, yeah, even, that's terrible with, to do that it's, to children. It's terrible. It's really terrible. And it's sad because when you look at March, like, March is not, a, she's a very smart girl and she's realizing, like, Okay, if I'm getting sacrificed, I'm not going to grow up, am I? I'm not going to be like a young lady or anything. And she's realizing that she will never grow up. When she goes through the sacrifice, she's not going to grow up. Yeah, and because she's going to no, die. She's, she's going to yeah. die. And and that's why she was so upset. She was devastated and upset, and she don't want to do it. And then you see, like, the one who's like a big sister, she comes into her rescue. Yeah. Like, she comes in to say from this woman named... Uh, what was her? Hash, Han, Hanase? Hanase? Yeah. That was something like. Yeah, I think I got her name. We have to, we have to listen it. to all these names like more than once. I know. <laughs> exactly, because this is like the first time we're watching it. And usually, usually I catch a name much quicker, but because this is like brand new and we never read the manga or anything, so that's why we're like, we're just going blindly with these characters' names. I um, think the only reason that we got Marge is because it's an easy. Uh, name For to name remember. to pronounce, yeah. Well, pronounce it is, too. It is very easy, and I, but I did like that she did come to her aid. She did come to save her, even though she's now captured and now she's a, a prisoner right now. And now Marsh escaped, but Marsh escaped, and thanks to the boy, kind of have this weird reincarnation. Well, not, well, it's not. It's not really the boy. Remember, it's the, it's orb. the orb. It's the orb. I keep. Uh, yeah, I gotta remember it's the or, but it's the or disguised as the boy. Like the boy disguised, you know, he really was an or, but he's disguised himself as a boy. But the thing is, it's like, it's interesting because the relationship with March and she, the she, boy, she basically has a pet. It's yes. like a pet, yes, because <laughs> he doesn't understand his mind. I think he's still thinking of a wolf. Of the wolf, yeah. I, yeah. And the way he eats is not human. You definitely yeah, he eats, see he, like he's very he has very animalistic uh, mannerisms. Exactly. And even like she doesn't get it at first because she's like she give him like trying to share or try to but he he just like slapped it off her hand and he keep like taking, taking the, food the food from, from her. her, yeah. <laughs> and she was so devastated and she's like saying, You're mean, you're mean to me. Why would you do that to me? I'm trying to be nice to you. And and after she's realizing like like, she kind of like that she's being, like, kind of like a mother figure. Yeah, she's basically being yes. a mom. And that's, what she mo- wa- and that's what she wanted. Exactly. That's what she wanted from the, uh, from, you know, even though at first when she was, like, it's very different when she was playing with her doll that was, like, pretend. This one feel like she's really feeling like a mom. Like, to 
to the you know the orb that this guy's is a boy but it's like the funny thing is that the moment she walks away because um that he he follows her he yeah. goes and follow her and he's like he it's sad because it's like he doesn't know where else to go and like and then she yeah, like a pet like a like it's like like, it's, yeah. it's like a pet yeah it's literally like a pet like like he he he's, he he keeps following her and she's like go away get away from me i want to be with you <laughs> And she, he keeps following her. <laughs> he keeps following her, and I find that so adorable. Like this little kind of, it's an interesting relationship between them. Like it's kind of, it's kind of cute. And how she's trying, how at first she was trying to teach him how to speak. Thank you. Yeah, and, that was cute. I found that adorable. I'm like, I'm like, I don't think this kid is gonna talk because it's not the kid. It's he still has the mind of a wolf. Yeah. But um, I think, but the sad part, I think my prediction is that I think she might go back to Sakura only because she doesn't want her sibling to get sacrificed. Yeah, because she had a nightmare that, you know, if she, if she wasn't going to do it, then it would be her sibling that she doesn't want that to happen. But me, I'm trying to be optimistic because with all the crap that happened on Attack on Titan, I need some happiness, okay? I know. <laughs> I know. I don't want to think of it like that. I really hope that it doesn't lead to that because the way the preview show it, it looked like that she ended up go with, like she wasn't forced. So like she felt like she voluntarily just went back with them. Like I think that's going to be the sad part right there. But I think it's out of fear because she doesn't want anything to yeah, happen her to her siblings. Yeah, yeah. They're younger than her, so they are, especially like. Thinking of the baby, that's the worst thing. And I think, like, I think the in my prediction, I thought at first I'm thinking it's a mountain guard, but I think it's actually I think it's the polar bear. I think the bear represents the guard. I their think guard. so too. I yeah. Think so. Oh, that's that's a good that's a good thought. But who's I didn't to think say? of that. We could we could we could all be totally wrong. But that's a good theory. I do like that theory. I was I'm kind of teetering on that theory too that it's the polar bear. Mm-hmm. Because. For her to have a nightmare, and it was like a polar bear eating her sibling. Why would she have the polar bear? Eat, uh, think, why would she think the the bear is eating her uh, her brother and her little siblings? It had to be that they um, that he had to represent the god, the sac, that and that his her sibling is being sacrificed to that god. I you, think you that's know, what you it know was. you know what I'm curious about. I'm curious what? about is what's the deal with this orb. I know. I want to know too. <laughs> I know, and I feel like it's interesting because this orb is definitely different from I. I was recorded as a slime. It's totally very different from because it's just like an orb. It doesn't even talk. It's I'm not like more, I'm more concerned of who sent that orb. Me too. That's what I. That, yeah, that's what I'm concerned too. Like who is responsible for that orb? Like, I want yeah. an answer. I know this is only episode two, but, like, I need an answer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could look at the manga, but I don't want to do that because this is a brand new show and I don't want to be, you know, spoiled too early. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's too true. early, exactly. It's You're right. It's only an episode early. two. We got final thoughts, or is that it? Any final thoughts, Chris? Okay, the only final thoughts I have is little girl better not die. Yes, but me I too. That's my final that. thought too. <laughs> I, I want, I want this relationship between March and the boy to like progress and continue on as the show goes on. Yeah, I, I actually agree with that too. I actually agree with that too. That the little girl, like, that she, she lives, and that, that she grows a bond with the boy, and then hopefully, maybe she can be the one who helps him learn English or like you know teach to, uh, to like speak to speak I mean to speak the language of her native language you could have like Tarzan yes it'll be like Tarzan or Molly or Jungle Book the Molly. yes no. yeah. but we'll, oh, yeah, fi we'll find out I guess next week yeah we'll definitely find out about next week I'm just curious how that's gonna go like and the way it ended that episode. I was like, yeah, I was surprised. I thought it was gonna end with them. Oh, you know, she's gonna go and they're gonna sacrifice her. No, it didn't end like that. Yeah, it was actually a little bit like a happy ending. A little. Yeah, no, it, was, it was like it, it was it was foreshadowing. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was very, foreshadowing. It, it was it was a very optimistic ending. <laughs> it was like 
That was the first time I was like, okay, nobody died in this episode. Yeah, like, what the heck? That's what we were expecting. <laughs> like, in the end, nobody died. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And I think they just, they purposely ended like that so uh, so purposely. We're going to be like, what happened next? We, and the only way to find out is watching the episode from, the, you know, next, next week. week. Yeah, they, 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 that was a good cliffhanger. I did like that. But anyways, we hope you enjoyed our discussion about episode two of To Your Eternity. Uh, the mm-hmm. hype is worth it, I guess, because I've been hearing a lot of good things about this series online on social media so we will see you guys for another fun podcast